Ladies and gentlemen, we carried this table all the way from the beginning of the club to here. 15 kilometers uh, we walked, all for you, because I think it looks quite professional, doesn't it? It looks cool. Yeah? Yeah. I don't know what you think about it, so let us know in the comments below. And we're going to analyze the match we played over there. Last week you saw a video that we are practicing the Chiquitas, and now I would like to know if we did everything correctly, and maybe why some stuff did work, and maybe why some stuff well, didn't Well, we're going to analyze, first of all, if you try to put in practice what we learned the other day, yeah. and then what we will try to see is, okay, when you do it, what was the outcome? What are the advantages of that? Yeah. Okay, should we look at uh, the first video? I think they home, they're waiting for that, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's give them yeah, something yeah. to watch. Sorry, guys, it took so long. Something nicer than us. <laughs> Yeah, because it's, now, it's a difficult look, angle. No, but look. See, you're hitting already and he was still running forwards. Oh, okay, and that's why he could... Then, then, then the ball passed him. Yeah. This is what we were saying about the other day, just he should stop like two steps before and then he will have an easy bandeja. Yeah. And if you play, it's, especially, you're doing this. Germán is going somewhere. <laughs> no, but it's, yeah. yeah, you're doing this, right? Yeah. So it's, why would you want to go all the way when you know it's a lob coming? Yeah. But even if you don't know that you're doing that, the split step. That was the main thing we trained the other day. Yeah. To split step to stop on, time. on time. And to move two steps at a time and no more. Exactly. Yeah. And why did you play the Chiquita cross courts? Because I'm damn good. <laughs> <laughs> no, because in this specific situation, I knew you were going to the middle deep. Okay. So if I play in the middle, you kill me. Look. You see, look where you are. Also, your position was too far to the middle. Too far to the middle, yeah. So maybe one step closer to the net and not so much to the middle. Because I find this a very nice angle to play, the Chiquita cross court, but it's not always uh, the best option. Uh, but cross courts, I am further away from the net and I think it sh should be one step or maybe two I would say one step to the left. One step to the left? Yes. Yeah? Yes. And not forwards? I, I cannot see really how far okay. forwards you were because yeah. the truth is that I have the ball quite high so I could easily play a lob as well. Yeah. So I wouldn't go all in. But that's good that you variate because he is adjusting his position because you play down and up. Yeah. Because if I just remain to play up, he will think, okay, I will go back. Or if you do low all the time, like you a lot go, of yeah. tennis players. Well, that was what uh, Rafa was doing that. He was only playing lobs. Yeah. So at the beginning it worked, but it worked for five minutes. Then you yep. two yeah. were waiting for that. Okay. Mm? Sorry, Rafa. <laughs> he knows I told him on the court. Okay. <laughs> okay, next one. Okay, so now something that I never do. So I really wanted to put this in because I'm proud of myself of this okay. shot. <laughs> <laughs> and now I play a soft volley. That's what I wanted to, to put in. And then I play a massive good smash. Yes. Um, but uh, for well, me, this is a big win. Well, you nearly won the point there. Yeah. Then, yeah. with that ball, but this is in a different situation, but again, it's what we practiced the other day. Is this the, the, what you call the counter Chiquita? Yes. Yes, because I was on my way forward. Yeah. The way you had to neutralize me was to play slow as my feet. Yeah. Normally, you will go fast and high, and that's normally I will kick your ass. Yeah. But, see, <laughs> but since you play there, yeah. so yeah. this is very important what you mentioned now, because what is the rule here for me? that the opponent always have the ball low. Yeah. Then I cannot attack you. And also, since you played it so slow, it gave you time to make one more step. And to attack. And close. Because if you don't make the step, 
I can play another softball at your feet yeah. and I will keep going. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm? So because what, well what, done you. Yes, I think that's why I put it in. <laughs> To make uh, to to see if, if people off. like me more. Show off. <laughs> Maybe to gain some more subscribers, I say, Sven, you have such a nice backend folly. I'm gonna subscribe to the YouTube channel, <laughs> uh, and we're gonna take some lessons with Herman because uh, yeah, he must be a very good coach. Um, but what I found difficult to do uh, because you asked us in the last uh, session to play the low folly flatter, or, or the, to play some follies more flat. Yes. Because otherwise it will float. And it's just, for me, it's still diff uh, uh, difficult because I, I feel like I only play like one volley. And I, I think we should make a video on how many volleys the ac there actually are. What do you guys think? Should we do a video like that? Yeah, flat volleys. Because who plays, maybe only people play like very flat volleys or people play with a lot of slice volleys. Well, for me, it's the context that yeah. makes the difference. Uh, yeah. In this case, the way you, you put it with a lot of slice, but the ball was so low and you needed the angle that it What's worked out well. Okay. Yes, yeah. it was your way of taking off yeah. some power. Yeah. Uh, when we say about more flat, also is when you have a bit more space. Then you want the ball to go more like this. Yeah. If the opponent is coming, 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 and there's no space, then you need to Play maybe like slice a, it a little bit. Exactly. And yeah. also, let's not forget that the same shot could be done in different ways. It's what suits the player better as well. So it's not one way or another. For some players, they can do this more flat. Some other players need to do it with more slice. Which one is right? Both. Yeah. So you feel more confident with this shot. I feel more confident with that shot. As yeah. long as it works out, it's yeah. okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay, so that's interesting. Uh, well, enough about me. The next clip. Now um, we are trying to win the net. Okay. And I would like to know why we did not manage to win the net because we played like this softer kind of shot that mm -hmm. we uh, that we practiced yesterday. But we did not win the net. Okay, let's check it out. Look, what happens is that you play a chiquita in the middle. We both went to the middle, and when it came, he played another chiquita in the middle again. Mm, okay. So you took us there, yeah. and that would probably be the moment to open either that angle or that angle. But, you... but that's not easy if it's a. Um... Well, let's go slow motion. Okay, look, he could easily play there. That would be a little bit more tricky. To play next to you. But there, even if he catch it, yeah. he wouldn't be able to do much. And you took a step there, then Rafa could have been playing there. Yeah, in, on my side. So mm, I think if I was you, my move would have been more like this way. So in this case, you should be heading more, a little bit more. Closer straight, to the glass. Yes, but straight forwards, not so much to the middle. Okay. More mm -hmm. forwards and towards the fence to protect, because this is what we practiced, yeah. middle, open. Exactly. So yeah. for me, the mistake was that you played twice in the same place. Okay. I mean, it's not the end of the war because he played a good shot. Yeah. We couldn't attack you, yeah. but you had to go back and for the way from the beginning. Now, in the good side, since he stopped on time, when Rafa played a love, yeah. he reacted quite quickly. Yeah. If he would have gone two steps further, yeah. It would be a really much uh, damage. Rafa did good. Yeah. And it reacted quite quickly because his position was good this time. Yeah. yeah. Everybody wins. I, yeah. yeah, so we win. Everybody's winning. Um, question of this video and answer in the comments below. What is the downside of being fast on the court? Or too fast. Or too fast. Yes. Good question. Hmm. Ben is in the middle now. Yeah. There's no need for you to be there because your partner is already taking it. Okay. And these guys at home, it's a common mistake. We tend to go with our partner. If my partner is taking care of the ball, I should take my own way, my own positioning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so, and it's clearly going to him. Yes. Now, what's the problem with that? 
you put a lot of pressure on your partner because if your partner don't play perfect, the next ball will go into your corner. Yeah. Hmm? So when we play, we have a tendency like we want to help the partner all the time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and we do it with the best of the intentions. But once my partner is taking the ball, I have to take care of my side. That's the best way so I can help my partner. So you never go to the center to help? No, because to help him, and this attending my own side. So the best way I can help him is by being in my side. Yeah. Okay. Mm? Because we already have one player out of place. Yeah. We don't need to. Well, you don't want a second player out of place. Yeah. So I take him out of place or he take him out of place. Good for me. I did it. That's what I wanted. But this is like two for one. Yeah. With one player, had two players out of place. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You understand what that's I mean? That's where so two birds, one stone comes It happens from. a lot. Yeah. And be careful with that. Yeah. Okay. But now it's just going to play in the open space, I think. I don't know. Yes. See? So you corrected your position. But since you were there. I was not on time. You, you were late. Yeah. It, took, it takes you longer. So that's why every step counts. Yeah. That's what we have to remember. So instead of trying to move fast, let's try to be more efficient with our movements. Yeah. Let's try to be in the right place all the time. That's how we save time. Maybe we should do like, um, you to count your steps. That's what everybody does at, at, uh, when they're like, uh, today I did 10,000 steps. Maybe we should do an exercise where you can only do a few steps per point uh, on the paddle court and then the alarm goes off because you didn't. Could be interesting. Yeah, because it's, you, oh, too much, too much movement. You're doing something wrong. Go back, what happened? Um, because this is super key. Because sometimes then I'm out of position and then I need to rush and that's where I lose the point. It will be very, I mean, it's not going to be possible to, but it will be very interesting to count how many steps Sancho makes and how many steps an average player makes. Yeah, yeah. I'm to pretty compare. sure the difference will be big. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. But now, okay, we played here. So, exactly, look at the outcome. It goes to the center. Exactly, but the truth is that if you go back a little bit, this ball, of course, you need to cover that. That's true. Hmm? But it's also true that you have to cover a little bit of the middle. But that will be easier if I'm closer to the net. Exactly. Yeah. Otherwise, the court is too big to manage everything. Okay? Yeah. The problem is that you were too far back and maybe too far left as well. Because the truth is that when the ball is low, the probability is that the ball goes there. It's less. So you want to cover down the line, but you don't need to be there so much because you need to take some but the main thing is I think that you were a little bit too far back okay but it comes from that position before yeah if, if you were coming from here in three steps you are there but since you were coming from there it took like five steps to get to the right place yeah mm? should we play the Chiquita if we are both in the middle uh, well maybe it was not the best choice maybe a lot would have been more a better option because we're rushing a little bit yes i think it's good to recognize that you're well you have time or that's opening a very important topic most of the time club players when they play they only think about themselves they forget to consider the partner's position mm. so when i make a decision or when a good player makes a decision I try to consider all the context, okay. not just my context. Because if I choose to play there yeah. and I'm going to leave my partner in a bad position, maybe my choice will be different. Yeah. I don't have to think only what would happen to me. But also what happens to your partner. Well, yeah. because we are one team. Yeah. So if I play the Chiquita next time, I, I need to make sure that it is in the correct place. So that will be a better option, that exactly. we have uh, time. For example, Let's say you, your partner is in the back of the court, very back of the court. You're in a good place to play a chiquita. But if you play a chiquita and your partner is so far back, yeah. if they play a drop shot, there's no way he can take it. Yeah. So in that case, the chiquita was not a good option. No. Hmm? no. So sometimes I have to move, to, to watch a little bit to my partner. A well, little bit. You have to see it. Yeah. You have to see it a little bit. Hmm? Yeah. I and think that's easier at the back than if I am at the net. If I'm at the net, I will say, two, uh, Germán is at the back. And I stay here. I, I don't want to do it uh, like this. Uh, but 
Well, in the net, of course, everything goes quickly. But if, if the ball goes to my partner, for example, I'll just check where he's going. Okay. So when the ball comes to me, I know where he's coming from. Now, if he didn't move to the right place, that's another story. It's not yeah. my problem. Yeah. But if they have played a ball in the fence, and I know my partner is in the fence, even when he moves right, I know he's out of place. So I have to consider that. So I always look a little bit to see what he does. Yeah, but not too much. Yeah, but also, even if I don't look at him, I just see where the ball went. So if the ball went there, I know he's there. Yeah. Even if I didn't see him moving. And how far do you plan the Chiquita ahead? Do you think three steps or two shots ahead or? Well, that's the thing. As I said before, it's not the Chiquita, it's a system, it's a way of playing. So Chiquita is always in my mind. Okay. The only thing is, I always want to play it, but when I can't, I don't do it. Yeah. But it's there. I know I'm waiting for that to happen. Yeah. So I'm always waiting for Chiquita to happen. And then when I have the possibility, if I see that it's not a good moment, I play a love. Yeah. But Chiquita is in my mind. Okay, you're waiting to... to well, well, that's my goal. So, so you already loaded the gun. You already have the bullet in, in the chamber. Everything I'm doing there... Yeah is to get to that moment. Yep. Especially because that's my way of playing. Yep. Some other players are more, they like the love better. So they are waiting for that moment. Okay. So basically, what is it all about? I know what's my skill. Yep. Everything I do is to take the best advantage of that skill. In my case, it's this one. In your case, it could be another one. It doesn't matter. Okay. But the reality is that more and more paddle is going towards this. Yeah. If you watch the World Paddle Tour, they yeah. don't. If you play against Le Bon and Galan, you can never play them all up because they will kick everything no. out. So you have to play with Chiquitas. Or at least if you play a lob, it's to open the space. But you're going forward with the ball down. Yeah. Hmm? I asked the question because I feel like in the, the exercises that we did, is that it was a lot of three balls fast to the body they were like poof yeah and they you push them back soft on the feet you come forward angle like it's well what that's the idea what i said the other day is that there will be a lot of shots before we get to that shot and i think that's the difference between good players and paddle players that just started or good club level well they want to finish the point with one shot yeah they don't want to build it up club players when they have that ball where a professional player would choose to play Chiquita, they would just go for the winner. That's the main difference. Yeah. When they see an easy ball, they don't play a Chiquita and try to get closer so they have more guarantees of success. They would just go for it. Yeah. And that's the mistake. Yeah. So you need to win positioning, to win a good position and win the points. That's nice, but it's, you plan it. Yeah, let's say if we were speaking about football, imagine that a team, any team, it doesn't matter. Every time they cross the middle field, they start shooting to try to score. <laughs> That's what's happening here. Yeah. In football, you don't shoot until you have more or less good options to succeed. And with it that. can take a long time. Exactly. Well, this is not different. No. Okay, I think we have one more clip. I play Chiquita down the line this time. Yeah, I never do that. Yeah, and that one is very useful. Why? Because as I play Chiquita down the line, I take you both there. And there is space. And then, if he plays here, I have the angle, right? If he plays here, I still have the angle, but you have a lot less time of reaction. So whatever you do, you fuck. Yeah. <laughs> really. yeah. The, the only way he would have is to play there. Or to volley lob to get out of the... Yes, but it wasn't so easy because no. even a volley lob, I wasn't so close to the net. I oh. was like here. Yeah, so... so I, think, I think he actually tried that. Yeah. Because I got it here. Yeah. So... Yeah, and that's why I also was getting... So when you play the Chiquita down the line, the good thing is that you force the opponent to take the risky choice. Yeah. Because he literally has no other choice. Yeah. And, and, uh, but not everybody's able to do that with a backhand, I think. I think everybody's quite comfortable with the backhand folly, but not at the backhand at the back. But this will be good if you play on the right as well. Do you do this on the right side? 
Yes. With the forehand straight. Yes, and then you go across yeah. to the other side. Yeah. You know when I use that a lot? When they play in Australian. Oh, okay. Let's say you're playing on the backhand and you serve from the forehand. I just play there and I keep going. Oh, with the return. Chiquita yes. from the return. Not chiquita, but middle. It doesn't have to be so chiquita because you're coming from the back. Yeah. Would it, would it, be, would it, be, uh, would it be a good option for people at home to play chiquita straight or is it too difficult? No, not really. It, it, if you choose the moment where the ball is comfortable and easy, it's not. Oh, you play with the forehands, by the way. See? Yeah, and then I'm gone. But you see where I was when I played the volley? Yeah, you, you were not super close to the net. Actually, I, I, I decided to move too late, if you realize. Yeah, you played one meter over the line. It's still enough. And a super soft volley. This is good because I think many... Exactly. Of... This is, for example, what I was talking about. Normally, people will go for it hard in the middle. Yeah. And look where you were. But I, it should you I be kill, there? It, yes. Yeah. If I play hard in the middle, you kill me. Yeah. So basically, you did the right thing. You forced me to take a risky shot. Yeah. Lucky me, it worked out. Yeah. Yeah. So if you want, uh, also want luck, do this. Okay, for the people at home, to summarize uh, the Chiquita, it's important to start with the split step. Yes. And to move two steps at a time. And the, the, the speed of the steps. Yeah. Like walking fast, not really running because it's going to be very difficult to stop yeah. when you get there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also you have to be in the correct position. Don't be too close to the glass. When your ass is against the glass, I would not recommend to play the Chiquita and to play a slow shot. No. So if I want to have enough time to walk, then the ball has to go slow. Yeah. If I play fast, I will not have time to make even a step that the ball uh, have it back with me. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think it's good if you think of, I can only walk. I'm only allowed to walk. How can I play, how can I construct the Chiquita and uh, the point while I'm walking? What speed can I play so I can play walking paddle? And I, I, when I explain people like, okay, we're gonna do walking paddle, they're like, oh, that's something for me. Yeah. But they never do it. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we're gonna install cameras at the viewers, their, their courts and have a look if they... Uh, if they walk or run. If they walk <laughs> or run. And then the paddle police will arrive and say, uh, 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 no running on the court. It's like a restaurant. Yeah, I speed limit. You put yeah. a speed limit. <laughs> I, th I think I think it would be good to imagine you're in a restaurant. In a restaurant, you, you're not running. Yeah, <laughs> you're walking in a restaurant. So the paddle is the paddle court is a restaurant. Try to win the point. And I think this is a lot of information for the people <laughs> yeah. at home. So uh, we will end the video here. Thank you all for watching, and uh, I see you in the next episode. See you in the next one. Ciao. Vamos. Vamos. Vamos.